Hi there, how are you? I'm Lisa Gibbons. Maybe you're a little bit judgy. I mean, as a caregiver, are you the harshest critic of how you do it? Do you sometimes say judgmental things like, I lost my temper with dad today. What kind of a daughter snaps at her father? Or how did I forget to pick up more Depends? That was just dumb. Or how about mom's been in her PJs all day? Well, if you're noticing that you're having more and more of these negative conversations with yourself or with others about behavior, it might be time to put an end to the self-criticism. Beating yourself up can turn into an automatic pattern. And after a while, it can be really destructive to your mental health and your ability to give care. So here are just a few simple tricks, things you can do to create more empowering self-talk. And you can read more about these on caring.com. Number one, don't compare yourself to others. Chances are you're probably trying to stack up your worst moment next to someone else's best behavior anyway. So focus instead on what you're getting right. Give yourself credit for your effort and for your track record of successes. Number two, look at the big picture. Are you hurting your loved one or did you just get impatient? Does it really matter that mom hasn't gotten dressed or the house isn't tidy? Pick your battles and err on the side of keeping things peaceful by just letting go of everything that doesn't go into keeping your loved one emotionally and physically safe. And number three, connect with your feelings and with others. You might think about keeping a success journal so you can see how you're adapting, pivoting, and finding your way. And you know, I always say you can't heal it if you don't reveal it. So find support, a mentor, or a group. You'll discover there is no one way no perfect way to care. By the way, our hugs mentors can be a great resource. As always, let us know how we can help.